Hello everyone, this is Andy Dietrich, your favorite curriculum coordinator here at Northwest Allen County Schools, and today I'm going to show you how to import content into your Canvas course. So what we mean by import content is you can take all the stuff from last year's course and you can import it into this year's course. Or if you had a summer course where you were playing in like a summer sandbox where you're working on your design and you want to bring all that material in for the next year, basically it's all the same uh, same steps. Okay, so as you see on the screen here, this is the uh, health course for eighth graders for Cheryl Roush. Cheryl Roush is a health teacher over at Maple Creek Middle School. And in the previous video, I showed you how to cross list courses. So what we did in that video is we renamed one of Cheryl's courses. As you can see here, it's just called Health 8. It's got her name in it, and it's just her quarter one sections. And we cross listed all of her sections into that one. So um, check out that video if you want to learn how to cross list. But in this video, we're going to show you how to import stuff from last year. It's very, very simple. OK. now. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come down here to settings. Actually, we'll save you a step. There's actually a button right here that says import existing content. We're going to click on that. Now we don't have to click on settings. <clears throat> okay. So up here in this drop down menu, you want to click on the very first choice, which is copy a Canvas course. Okay. And then next you want to go find the course. So depending on how this is, you may have to start typing in stuff, but sometimes when you start just you click in here, this whole list shows up. So what I want to do is I want to scroll down this list and I want to find her courses from last year. And you want to look over here at these numbers. So we're looking for 2021 Health 8 Q1. So here it is. 2021-2022 school year, it's last year. 8th grade health, and it's the quarter one section. So I'm going to click on that. You notice how I double check myself? I want to make sure I'm sending the right stuff because you can see up here, this is Health 8 Q1 Roush from last year. This is the course for this year. Now I've got a couple of choices. I'm going to click all content or I'm going to click specific content. Now, Cheryl does a good job in her courses, but she hasn't loaded it up with a bunch of stuff that's left over from five, six, seven, eight, nine years ago. Some of you have been using the same stuff since 2015. You just you're recycling this course into that course, and you know, so 2015 into 2016, 2016 and 17, 17, 18, so on and so forth. What has happened over those years is you still have assignments in your course from like say 2018 that you're never going to use again. So if you're one of those people and you've got a bunch of assignments or pages or quizzes or whatever. I would recommend that you kind of select specific content on this one because if you bring in too much stuff, our courses are starting to get too full. And for some of us, like the assignment page won't load because there's too much stuff in it. So if you are one of those situations, do specific content only and select what you want to do. So when you do select specific content, you'll click this import button. And then when you click this import button, there's going to be another button over here that says select content. Go ahead and click on that and then you can go figure out what you want to do. It's pretty self-explanatory. Right. In Cheryl's case, we're just going to do all content. All right, so I select all content and I click on import. And then it's going to be queued up. And so you're going to see a, a blue progress bar start here in just a moment. All right, it's completed. Now, sometimes you're going to see a little orange thing right in this area that says errors. Don't worry about them. Really, those errors just means that an assignment date is off because it still has a due date for last year. You'll fix that when it's time to use that assignment when it's that time. So it's not a big deal. Don't worry about any errors here. Okay, let's see if it worked. So if we go to the home page, we'll see that Cheryl's home page is there from last year. And ta-da, there it is. We're going to look at some of the other content that you have here. So we'll click on announcements because that's the next on the list. All right. So she's only got the one announcement. I would suggest that you just delete these announcements. So all you got to do is click on this little box right here. And if there's any more announcements, check all the boxes because you can do a bulk delete. So if you come over here, hit the delete button and then confirm it, it's gone. No problem. So we'll look at Cheryl's assignments. 
See, it didn't take hers long to load, so it's fine. But again, some of you have really big lists of assignments. So what you need to do, and now would be a good time to do it, go through here and look at which ones you don't need to keep anymore. And then unfortunately, you got to do it one by one. There's not a bulk delete like you saw at the announcement. So three dots, click on delete, make it go away. Okay, if you delete something by accident, don't panic. Call me, I'll show you a little trick on how to bring it back. So if you accidentally deleted something, we can pull it back, nothing to it. Same with discussions. Discussions are something that you definitely want to delete because they're leftovers from last year. She doesn't have any in here, so you can get rid of them. Um, everything else is good right there, okay? So that's how you import course content into a Canvas course so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, okay? So if you have any questions on this or if you mess something up accidentally, please let me know. You can always email me or you can call me at 1831 and I'll get you taken care of. See you next time, everybody.